Hi, it's Katrina. From eating at a restaurant on the seabed to a lavish hotel with pods, here are 10 incredible underwater buildings. Number 10. Etha Undersea Restaurant The Etha Undersea Restaurant can be found at the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island, located, as the name indicates, in the Maldives. With a name meaning Mother of Pearl, it calls itself the world's first undersea restaurant, having opened in 2005, and it is submerged to a depth of 16 feet. Access to the restaurant is through a thatched pavilion on a jetty, where you find a spiral staircase that leads to the main underwater structure. The roof is completely transparent and offers a 270-degree view of the surroundings. There's room for 14 people at any one time, and it is part of a hotel that spans two private islands. The structure was vibro-hammered into the seabed to ensure that it stays in place, a process that was so secure that it was unaffected by a tsunami in 2004. The expected lifespan of the restaurant structure is 20 years, so there's not much time left to visit if you want to experience the contemporary European cuisine on offer. The standard six-course set dinner menu costs $400 per person, but you're in for a treat. The Itha restaurant has won numerous accolades since its opening, including the Luxury Resort Restaurant and Global Restaurant of the Year at the World Luxury Restaurant Awards in 2017. Number 9. Nemo's Garden Nemo's Garden was first set up in 2012 off the coast of Noli, Italy, and is the world's first and only underwater farm that grows produce usually grown on land. At first, it was an experiment by its owners, whose farm had struggled in cold weather to take advantage of the near constant temperature of the sea for growing crops. They started with one small dome that was used to grow green basil, but it has now developed far beyond their original expectations. Today, when at full capacity, Nemo's garden consists of six biospheres. Each one is made from clear plastic and is chained to the seabed at differing depths between 15 and 36 feet below the surface. There are more than 90 seed beds in each biosphere, which contains 2,000 liters of oxygen, along with all the equipment needed to ensure the environment is perfectly maintained for plant growth. Crucially, they have been designed to be big enough that people can access the crops inside and harvest them when needed. The conditions such as temperature, CO2 levels, humidity, and illumination are monitored 24-7 from a nearby underwater lab. This ensures that plants have all they need and prevents the development of diseases. Interestingly, while crops such as basil are said to taste the same as those grown in the traditional way, they were found to contain almost 50% more essential oils than standard crops, so they could in fact be healthier to eat. For now though, experiments are ongoing, and this process is nowhere near economical enough to be used to produce large quantities of food, but it's a neat idea and will probably be incorporated into floating cities in the future. Number 8. Data Center With our increasingly interconnected lives that rely on our use of smartphones and the internet, the access to and storage of data has become crucial to facilitating needs. Server farms and data centers generate huge amounts of heat, and so they need to be cooled something that costs huge amounts to ensure everything performs correctly, and it is estimated to use up to 3% of the world's energy consumption. In 2018, Microsoft began the next stage of a test of a new type of data center off the coast of Orkney in Scotland. The white cylinder contains 12 racks of servers, with a cable connecting them to the mainland. Once submerged, there's no way to access the servers, so if anything breaks, it cannot be repaired. Still, the use of the cold temperatures underwater is expected to save huge amounts in cooling costs. This test is expected to last for up to five years and is a continuation of their first underwater data center that was submerged off the Californian coast in 2015. In the future, Microsoft hopes to be able to create much larger networks of undersea servers and be able to mass produce them in one facility. This means that they would be able to deploy fully functioning centers offshore within 90 days, when it could take years to create an equivalent on land. Number 7. Jules Undersea Lodge Jules Undersea Lodge was the world's first undersea hotel, where visitors can spend the night sleeping with the fish or simply visit for lunch. It's located within the lagoon at the Key Largo Undersea Park and has room for four people to stay. Guests must be scuba certified, as this is the only way to access the lodge's entrance that's 21 feet below the surface. The 42-inch round windows give a great view out into the mangrove lagoon, and inside you'll find hot showers, a stocked kitchen, books, and even an Amazon Fire Stick for music and movies. 
Hiring the lodge for the night also includes a pizza delivery dinner, or for those who want something more substantial to eat, a full dinner that includes a lobster, baked potato, and of course, key lime pie. Nice. Number six, Cancun Underwater Museum. The Cancun Underwater Museum was created to give tourists a beautiful spot to dive, but at the same time encourage them away from the delicate coral reefs that are damaged by such large visitor numbers. The artificial underwater destination consists of more than 500 submerged sculptures, with plans to expand this much further. The site sits between the coast of Cancun and Isla Mujeres, and along with the sculptures, visitors see a wealth of animal life, such as fish, turtles, and rays. The man-made attractions include a number of famous artworks, including The Cross of the Bay, Man on Fire, Dream Collector, El Bacab, Anthropocene, and The Silent Evolution. They have all been created in a way that attracts algae and therefore will eventually be covered in a brand new reef. Because of the underwater museum, Cancun is now home to the largest artificial reef in the world, and this is just the beginning. More sculptures are still to come. Number five, a strip club. If the sites available in Vegas or Amsterdam aren't enough for you, then there's an establishment in Israel that might be more to your taste. Although, unfortunately, it's now closed and is just a remnant of things that once were. Originally beginning life as an underwater restaurant in Eilat, Israel, the Nymphas Show Bar soon became the world's first strip club under the sea, complete with all of the furnishings you would expect of such a place. The futuristically designed place was accessible by a 230-foot bridge that led to a flight of stairs to the entrance. No one is quite sure why the club was abandoned, but in 2013, a photographer rediscovered the site and took a series of stunning photographs. While the majority of furnishings are long gone, the pole still stands with pride in the center. The club is almost as pristine as the day it opened, but now the only ones who get to see the sights on offer are the shoals of fish that swim past the windows. Number 4. Hotel Uter Inn Located in Lake Malar in Vasteras, Sweden, the Hotel Uter Inn is a unique hotel experience that brings guests close to nature. It was conceived by Michael Genberg, a local artist, and consists of an above-water entrance and underwater residence. The entrance has been designed to look like a traditional Swedish house, but the immediate giveaway that something is different about this place is that it's floating in the middle of a lake. Around the house is a platform that's ideal for relaxing on and looking at your surroundings before entering the structure and climbing down a ladder to the double room below. When you're there, you can spend your days canoeing on the lake, swimming in the clear water, or lying on your bed and watching the shoals of fish swim by. It's the ideal place to go to get away from the bustle of life. But don't forget to take your supplies with you. As you can imagine, there are very few restaurants that deliver food to a place that's so remote. Number three, Sub Six Restaurant. The Sub-6 restaurant is at the Per Aku Niyama Resort in the Maldives, and the thing that makes this one stand out is that it's submerged 20 feet beneath the Indian Ocean. The Maldives has some great stuff going on. Guests are taken to the location by speedboat, where a grand three-tiered staircase leads to the undersea structure. After entering, you're greeted by a giant clam-shaped bar and take your place at one of the tables alongside the exterior windows, giving stunning views across the more than 90 species of coral and countless species of fish that inhabit the surrounding waters. Parrotfish swim around, moray eels make the occasional appearance, and if you're lucky, you might even see a hawksbill turtle glide past. With choices of champagne breakfasts, luxurious dinners, and of course, a bottle of Dom, this truly is one of the most unique dining experiences available anywhere on Earth. Number two, the Aquarius. The Medina Aquarius program was set up to study the preservation of marine ecosystems and has a state-of-the-art facility to enable this, one of only three undersea research laboratories in the world known as the Aquarius Reef Base, which was established in 1986. It's 5.4 miles off the coast of Key Largo and is 62 feet beneath the surface. The base is made of three structures, the wet porch, which has a moon pool for access, the main compartment that's been made strong enough to maintain normal atmospheric pressure, and an airlock in between the two, which is used to transfer between the wet porch and main compartment by matching the pressure in either one. The great thing about this design is that workers on the base following specific protocols don't need to use a decompression chamber once they return to the surface. The base is used to show the effects of underwater living on people, to conduct various experiments, and is also used by NASA to simulate conditions in outer space and to train astronauts. Now operated by the University of Florida, the Aquarius is an incredibly valuable resource to help understand marine environments. Number one. 
the Poseidon Undersea Resort. The Poseidon Undersea Resort, while not yet open, will be the most luxurious underwater hotel to have ever been built. Construction began in Fiji in 2001, and after numerous delays, it's expected to open soon. The resort will be accessible by a lift from a nearby island, and it takes luxury to a new extreme. Consisting of a number of pods along a central structure with a restaurant at the end, each room will contain its own jacuzzi and wall-to-ceiling windows. Underwater lights will be installed that are controllable from within the pod, as well as a fish feeder to ensure there's always something to watch. As well as the main structures, there will also be two spa treatment rooms, a wedding chapel, and guests will also have the opportunity to learn how to pilot a three-person submersible. The delays in construction have been a result of ensuring that everyone is safe within the structure, and should anything happen, the pods can detach and return inhabitants to the surface. The owners are keen to open as soon as possible, which is hardly a surprise considering they are believed to have a waiting list of 150,000 guests willing to pay as much as $15,000 a week to stay there. Thanks for watching! Which one of these places would you like to visit? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!